No matter what I do. Hi guys, welcome to a new let's play on my channel. I'm sorry to be talking over the music. We are playing Contrast and it's a game I've been meaning to play for a while. So why not do a let's play of it? And uh, we can just start a new game right away. Yes. And I have to say, I just actually, I'm, I'm doing this a second time. I already recorded the first episode, but when checking the recording, I noticed that my mic didn't record. So I hope it's working now. I think it is, but you can never be too sure, I guess. Um, yeah, so don't be surprised if I already know um, some stuff in the beginning. <sighs> it's a bit frustrating, but yeah, it happens. Okay, um, so we can find collectibles. Um, this is little Dee Dee, we're gonna see her in a bit. Um, this is her mom, this is her dad, who I think looks a bit like a, I don't know, private detective or something. <laughs> like a, I don't know, but maybe he's just playing, I don't know. And this is us, we're Dawn. Um, there, and I guess turns off the music <laughs> great feature um okay let's start it's time for bed Dee. Dee. go hop in bed i'll be right in to tuck you in Dee, Dee goes on to her bed with her shoes which is Good unacceptable night, what are you doing here my mommy's coming you better hide or she's gonna catch you Okay, sweetie, night night. What are you looking at? I don't think she can see you. Now promise me you'll be a good girl while I'm out singing. I promise. No sneaking out this time. I'll get in trouble. I promise. That's my good girl. Mommy. Is daddy ever coming back? I don't know, honey. Maybe someday when he's ready. But don't you worry, mommy always comes back. I'll be home before you even wake up. Get some nice sleep. Okay, she's gone. She's gonna sing at the ghost note tonight. It's the most beautiful cabaret. Come on, we'll miss her show. Join Dee Dee on the rooftops, okay. Uh, I don't know, the mother should have been suspicious uh, that her daughter was not even wearing sleeping clothes, but okay. And yeah, her mother, she was like a shadow. Um, I guess that's how it's supposed to be, it's not a bug. It kind of reminded me of uh, Needy. Oh no, somebody moved the ash cart! The ash cart? Look! I know! You could go down there and move the ash cart, and I could jump down! I'll play like, here. So, you can go over there and be a shadow person. Yep, a shadow person. That's our superpower. Um, yeah, what I was uh, saying, it kind of reminds me of Knee Deep, my first Let's Play, where I thought people were supposed to look like shadows, and Come then on, after episode go there six, and do your shadow check. I realized that the settings were wrong and they were supposed to be lit, but I think this is actually part of the game since it's all about shadows. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we should, uh, wait, I think, uh, yeah, with shift we can actually walk slowly so that we don't fall off roofs. Uh, oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Um, yeah, so, so much for I have already played this part. <laughs> I was better the first time, I promise. Wow, I wish I could do that. Could you teach me how to do that? No, we can. I'm sorry. That's my own superpower. Okay. Boop. Now move the ash cart to where I can jump into it. Yeah, we're moving the ash cart over here. Boop. I really thought she was going to jump down the whole way. I wonder who moved it. I did. Just now. Do you think it was mommy? Oh. She got really mad at me the last time I snuck out. Where did you go for so long? I haven't seen you in three weeks. I really wish you had been at my birthday. Daddy missed my birthday. Aw, well, I'm sorry. Now we go this way. Follow me. We don't have a voice, so we can't even talk. Uh... Oh, 
I think you're too big. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Hmm. Hmm. I think that goes all the way through to the other street. If I move this car, you could walk up to Shadow, couldn't you? Oh no, you can move things. Make your way out of the alley. So that's easy, luckily. Whoop. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> that's easy, luckily. Okay. Ah. Uh, guys, seriously, I, I did this before and I was much better at it last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously so embarrassed. Yeah, see, uh, if I make it there, apparently this time I'm really bad at the game. Uh, one of ten luminaries collected. Okay. <laughs> God. I swear I did this before, I swear. Uh, okay, but this I did before. So we can hop out here. We herpederp over here. And then we do this and jump here and jump over here. Ah! <gasps> ah! Oh my god, almost failed again. Yeah, and we get this luminary thing. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, now we get this article. <laughs> and last time when I was reading this, I failed horribly. I was reading like shit, but I will try again. If I completely fail, we just cut it out because I don't want to embarrass myself even more. All right. <laughs> Newspaper article Carmine Bruni acquitted of murder for a second time. And the first time I also thought acquitted meant that he got, uh, like, he was prosecuted or something, but apparently that means the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Um, non English speaker here. Hey. <laughs> January 4th, alleged mob lieutenant Carmine Bruni walked out of Central District Court. This morning, a free man. See, there, that's where I thought uh, wrong. Uh, or, well, where I noticed I was wrong. Oh my god. <sighs> the jury acquitted Bruni on four counts of homicide in connection with the gory shooting death of a bartender on the Wolf and Lamb Tavern last April 7th. Bruni claimed he acted in self defense when the bartender, Robert Antos, attacked him. Mr. Antos was found with 18 bullets in his body. Police stated that the bullets came from uh, two different handguns. What prosecutors claimed was a strong case uh, began to d deteriorate after the unexplained disappearance of a key eyewitness, Ingmar Olofsson. Two further prosecution witnesses, who claimed to have seen Bruni enter the Wolf and Lamb with, a, with his associate, Salvatore De Benetto, De Benedetto, <laughs> uh, in the moment before the shooting, uh, recanted their testimony on the witness stand. We're just pleased that justice has been served, stated Bruni's defense attorney, Jonathan Parker. Mr. Bruni has been hounded enough by a loose canon DA and a corrupt police department. This is the third felony trial and the second murder trial at which Mr. Bruni has been acquitted in Central District Court. Uh, police maintain that Mr. Bruni is a lieutenant in the Vasari crime. Mr. Bruni, though, uh, through his attorney, asserted that he is in the floor product business. Okay, this was better than last time. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> oh god. I'm really uh, embarrassing myself tonight. Tonight. It's not even night. Here. I mean, it isn't the game, but... Oh my god. We haven't started the show yet. You missed the dancers. They were so beautiful. Yeah, way to make us jealous, Dee Dee. I want to be a dancer when I grow up. Or an acrobat, like you. Did you always want to be an acrobat? Uh, sure, Dee Dee. They're so good. Ah. You should be in the circus. I know. Too bad nobody can see you. Yeah. So. Come on, let's go in. That's my good girl. Come on. Does Daddy ever bring me back? I don't know. Maybe someday when he's ready. Can we go up there? Oh my God, I think we can. But we can't. Get some nice sleep. Wait! Oh, let's do it again. Oh, That's shit. My good girl. Come on, come on. Okay, this I didn't see the first time. Daddy, I'm gonna be back. I don't know. Let's get up there. Maybe someday when he's ready. 
Damn it! Okay, I want to do this. I really didn't do this the first time. That's my good girl. Ah. Uh. Morning. No. Can't get up there. I don't know. Maybe someday when he's ready. How do I do this? I'll be home before you get up. Crap! Get some nice sleep. Again, again. How many tries do I have? That's my good girl. Oh shit! I Mom. fucked it up already, didn't I? I have to jump on her head right away. Daddy, I'm gonna be back. Maybe someday. Oi! Crap. Don't you worry. Okay. Mommy always comes back. Yes. I'll be home before you need Mommy up. always <laughs> comes. God damn it. Okay. I can do it. I know I can. That's my good girl. Shit! Oh my god. No! I don't know. Maybe someday when he's Okay, this works. Don't you worry. Ah! Yes! I did it. And uh yeah, apparently uh the city is being weird here and there are floating chairs and stuff like that and I wonder if we can jump nope we can't all right then let's go back and uh, wow I'm glad this worked out I didn't collect this luminary last time oh, <laughs> so stressful <laughs> let's sing want to put on some lights I promise you'll like the view Oh, are you hitting on us? There. Come on, sugar. Help a girl out here. We can't play in the dark. There goes. The first dude. Where's Dee Dee? Oh, there she is. Oi. Oh, hey, one's on the fritz. Oh, hey, Sparky, yeah. could you do something about that one, too? It's really messing with our rhythm. Oi. Okay. That wasn't too hard, luckily. Uh, and there we go. R to review collectible that we know. All right. Uh, Department of Child Services notice dereliction of parental duties. Uh, re Dorothy Melancholia. So I guess Dorothy is Dee Dee. Uh, dear Miss Melancholia. This is your second notice that you have been found in dereliction of your parental duties in regard to your daughter, Dorothy Malakaya. As you presumably know, Dorothy was found loitering in the alley behind the Ghost Note Cabaret at 2 a.m. on the morning of June 22nd. Dorothy informed the police that you were performing at the Ghost Note and are generally not at home between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. If you continue to demonstrate an inability to look after your daughter properly, this department will have no alternative uh, but to place her in foster home until such time as you obtain legiti legitimate work or preferably return to your husband. It is of particular uh, concern that, when found, Dorothy seemed to be having a conversation with a non-existent person. A mentally disturbed child such as Dorothy needs devoted care. If you cannot provide it, I will, regretfully, be forced to take action. Sincerely yours, Hilda Jansen, social worker. Yeah, so... Little Dee Dee is loitering and talking to mysterious women in the dark. <laughs> okay, that we fixed. And here we go. And 
Charlie, would you? I never wanted to leave. You kicked me out. You want money from me, Johnny? Because I'm ducking the landlord. I don't need a handout, babe. Look at this suit. You work in another one of your famous deals? This one's big, Cat. Oh, sure it is. Till it blows up like last time and the time before Not that. Not this time, babe. I'm going to make it all up to you. I got to get back on stage. Then meet me after. I'm staying at the Excelsior. But you think you're just going to jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? It's going to be better this time, babe. You're going to see how much better it can be. Room 529, kiddo. Where is he going? I need to talk to him. Oh, Dee Dee. Act one of all the gin joints. <laughs> Follow Johnny and Dee Dee. Uh, check from Johnny Fenris to Kate Knight. Insufficient funds. Fenris? Wasn't he in Dragon Age? <laughs> uh, whoa, what was that? Dee Dee! He just went through the gate! I bet he's going to the bar. Oh, of course. Mommy said Daddy left us, but that's not true, is it? Uh, she kicked him out. Well, it there's always open. two sides to but a story. You can break it open. You're pretty strong. I, yeah, I'm I'm super strong. Pum. Come on, it's this way. That's the amazing Vincenzo. He's a world famous illusionist. What's Daddy doing with him? Is he playing an illusion on you? Where are you going? Daddy went in there. I'm sorry. I could break this, so I wanted to check it out. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Wait, I'm pretty sure I saw another breakable thing over there somewhere. Or did I not? Wait, what's that? Are we in another... Ooh, are we on the other side of this? Oh my god, I think we are. Can we back go back over there? Ah, uh, there's no shadow here though. Wait, there is. But it's derping around. Can we use this? Oh well, I guess it's not something we're supposed to do now. Maybe. Maybe it is. <laughs> Follow Johnny. Yes, I know. I know, game. But I want to check everything out. Um. Okay, the episode is over, but let's... Let's try this. I 
walking on your bus. Where do I have to go? Oh, up there. <laughs> up. Oh, wait, I think I have to jump from here. Ah! Up. Yes! Wait, there we go. Nice! Didi, it's cool, we're coming. We just got the first luminum. <laughs> yes, we did. Alright, okay, then let's end the episode here. I hope you liked it so far. Uh, we're gonna stand under the stripping. Uh, we, we gotta wash our hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching so far. Um, I hope I will see you next time. And bye!